Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you the basics of batch file scripting. So start off by opening up Notepad. This is what we're going to be actually using to write our batch file. So the first line of code we're going to need is add echo off. Make sure you use that line of code whenever you're, you're making a batch file. Just make sure that's on the first line. What it basically does is it stops file paths from being repeated. Now this may sound a bit confusing, but it simply just makes your program look a lot more professional. So make sure you just have that at the start. Add echo off. Okay, so now let's give our batch file a title. To do that, we use the title command. And then we put in the uh, title of our batch file. So I'm going to make it my first batch file. Now let's make our uh, batch file say something. So we're going to use the echo command. And after... The, uh, after you put echo, you type in whatever you want your uh, batch file to actually say. So I'm going to make it say, hello. Now if we run our program, it'll actually just close instantly. Why? Well, we never put the pause command in. Now what the pause command does is it pauses the program, obviously. And it also displays a line that says, press any key to continue. Then when the user presses a key, it'll move on to the next line of code. And if the next line of code is empty... It's just going to close the batch file. So if let's uh, learn how to save this first. Just click File, Save As, and then name your program. My first program, or batch file. I'm going to save it in my batch folder. It's just for organization. Then for the Save As type, select All Files. Not text documents, all files. This is really important because... If you, if you can't save it properly, you won't ever be able to run it. So just make sure you select all files. And then at the end of your name, put .bat. .bat. This is what actually makes your batch file a bat, uh, batch file. Because it's, this is a basically the extension for the file. So then just click save. Now I'm going to open up my folder. Here it is. Let me run it. Okay, so let's check the code and let's check the actual batch file. The title is my first first batch file. So we just set that right there. And then it says hello. That's what we echo hello did. And then pause. It just made the, it still open, so that's what pause did. And it also displayed the line press any key to continue. Then let me just press a key. It closes because there's nothing here. Now let me just add a few more lines. Echo this is the first line. Echo this the second line. Okay, so you could actually display two different lines. Now make sure you put pause after that, because it'll just go here, then it'll pause, and then when we press a key, it'll move on to the next line of codes. But if we didn't have pause, it would just quickly display this and close. So just make sure you put pause there. So now let's test this out. File save, and just run this again. So it says hello, press any key to continue. That's what the pause command did right here. And then when I press a key, it'll say this is the first line, this is the second line. Now what if I didn't want all that at the top? I would have to use a clear, ske clear screen command. So put CLS right after wh where you want to actually clear the screen. So it'll say my first, uh, or it'll say hello, and then it'll say press any key to continue. Then when you press a key, it'll clear the entire batch file, and then it'll display this. So let's save it. File save. Let's reopen it. So it says hello. Press any key to continue. I clicked the key. It cleared the screen, and then it uh, displayed these two um, lines, and then the pause command. So that's the basics of batch scripting. Thanks for watching this lesson. Make sure you watch the next lesson because you'll be learning some interesting things in that lesson as well. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.